<laughs> the guy. <laughs> you surprised me. Yeah. I was that one. Uh, where are we? We're here. Uh, where are we? Are we in Illinois? Illinois, yeah. We're at a Thornton's uh, truck stop. Look at this. Look at the truck stops here. Thornton's loves. Okay, Wendy, there's a speedway over there. Truck stop uh, central here. We're in northern Illinois. Oh, I didn't realize that there's a gas station at each corner. Yeah, this is like Speedway, uh, Fountains, mm -hmm. Loves, and there's a person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. On a road trip here currently. We're going to talk about uh, who are we talking about today? <laughs> oh, Which... yeah. The big question. We uh, a surprising situation for us. Married but living separate. Ooh, what? <laughs> yeah, we got married two months ago, three months ago, almost. We're still living in separate houses. Why are we doing that? It's one of the biggest questions we get asked. Are we ever going to change that situation? And uh, yeah, what the hell are we thinking? Mm -hmm. I guess is uh, weird. Yeah, <laughs> weird. So let's talk about let's talk about our thought process. Yeah. All right, we're back in the car. All right, so let's go through these reasons. Uh, why uh, why are we living? We were just got married. Why are we living separately? So number one, um, our kids and we live uh, 19, 20 miles apart, and our kids are, go to different schools. So uh, that was the first first big reason that we've been thinking about for how long we've been thinking about this problem. For two years. So we were engaged for two years before we just. decision we took lightly yeah so that's one kids are in different schools uh, their neighborhoods are different their friend group is different right so not only in the schools but uprooting their their whole way of being and their what they're familiar with would be another one yeah uh, our uh, and there's financial reasons or cost reasons right they're Oh, I guess we should mention that our kids, you know, their ages are such that they got married, we had you know, 19, mm -hmm. almost 18, 16, 12, 12 and, 10, and 10, almost 10. Yeah. So, you know, these teens are one foot out the door, one's one out the door, out one's the another foot out the door, mm -hmm. another one's two years. We got, we got somebody leaving every year. Yeah, we have somebody leaving every year, maybe two years after. The so second it's... one is leaving in a few months. Um, and you can never know with kids going to college, you know. As in, they go to college and then they work. Like in summer, they work in school holidays. They could work anyway. We are in Wisconsin, they would be in New York. Yeah. Right, so is it worth getting into a... How many kids do we yeah. have? Five, yeah. six? Six bedrooms, uh, only to have four of them locked up for a couple of yeah, years, and maybe house. use like a maximum of two weeks combined. Plus, your mom comes to visit from South Africa sometimes, and like right. an extra room. Now we, we both work from home because of you know we can a lot because of COVID, and just because everywhere works from home now. So now we got office or do we need two offices like how how big of a house do you, do you get so we don't know you know how big how big of a house we need to get a uh, or that's a, a b uh, there's a cost to that as well and we have our places and we have yeah, fixed costs we have known costs we're, we're saving for retirement or planning we're trying to be as 
debt free as possible. And so the idea of getting a huge house and going further into debt didn't appeal to us. Yeah, it didn't appeal to us. I should say this though, you know, one may think, well, how many boys and girls? There's four girls, there's one boy. So, you know, I'm thinking of how I grew up. We, I grew up in a three bedroom house and there were seven children. So why don't you just like get bank, bank, bank beds and all that? The thing is today, um, our kids are comfortable in, the, in, both, in, in both homes. So it would be such that our love affair and our decision to get, because this is a second marriage for both of us, our decision to try love for the second time comes at a cost to our children where they have to leave the schools they, they are at, leave the neighborhoods they know of, leave the comfort of being in their own space that they had since whenever only to um you know to to suit us to, to right. suit us right it didn't seem right and, right then some people might say well then why why get married now then yes it doesn't marry just mean your marriage means you're combining your money your house your life everything mm. well no it, I mean, that's your definition, but that doesn't have to be our definition. It's also commitment. Yeah, it doesn't so, have to be a, a definition. That's right. We're, we decided. We're, you know, we're both, we have older kids. And we're over 50. We can do what we want to do. Whatever the hell we want. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, you know, don't be, don't be burdened or uh, confined, confined by society's, yeah. Yeah, society's definition of what it means to you. Our parents are getting older. We wanted to make this commitment before the kids left the house, before our parents couldn't travel. It was, it, it, everything lined up for us, it was the right time. So we, mm -hmm. so let's make the commitment. We'll worry about the housing. Let's see where we are this year, at the end of next year, at the end of next year, if it, you know, mm -hmm. where the kids are with college. So I yeah. guess in, in summary, it's just the right decision for us. It's yeah. the right decision. And you know, you talked about the cost, like, been there, done that, right? At, at our age, and we are comfortable in our own homes, but combining the family would mean by this huge mansion, which is not our goal at all. Our goal is to retire early and travel the world. That's so right. the two goals were contradictory right. yeah. to one another. And that doesn't mean that we don't get to see each other. Yeah, and do we miss do we miss each other sometimes? Yeah, we oh, do. Yeah. There's, uh, there's downsides, of course, but yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. But hey, once in a while, you have your own space too. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is. It, it's not. Uh, it's a temporary sacrifice, yeah. which seems to suit almost every box that we have. You know, we can take and you know, I, I kids happy. Yes, I kids comfortable. Yes. Uh, Parents are able to travel now as opposed to later when we can live together. Yes. Um, are we, um, I don't know, can we save money more? Yes. Yeah. Uh, are we on our journey to retire early because of that decision? Yes. So it's a sacrifice because we do miss each other a lot sometimes. Uh, we try our best to see each other as much. Oh, both of us have 50% placement with the kids so right. half the time we for sure see each other the other half we are with kids you know the normal mambo jumbo homework and sporting activities here yeah. and there we try our best so in short it fits our family system our system the best and it doesn't matter what the preconceived notions of yes and we may have started a trend this actually is the most uh, like realistic and not like forced um, scenario that would be more practical for a lot of blended families, in my view. In our view, right? Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, like shaking the boat when you take two families. This is not like us getting out of college and, and getting married with nothing, no kids, and all that. So how how can we want to? conform to the norms of a situation which is not a reality. Which not, doesn't apply to us. It yeah. doesn't apply to us at all. Yeah. So I'm proud of us. Yeah, I am too. We, it, it, 
takes it takes guts. It takes a lot of thinking, mm -hmm. and uh, we just, you know, it, it, it works best for everybody, not just us, for everybody in our everybody. system. Yeah. There you go. You can do it too. Ask us questions. Yeah, yeah, ask us. Yeah. Ask what us do you think? What do you think of this model? Yeah. Uh, is it crazy? Is it? Did we explain it better? Are you are you sold at the idea? Do you think it's? Yeah, we'll, we'll answer some of the best questions. We, we will. Can. Yeah. Yeah. So leave them leave them in the comments below, and uh, we'll talk more about this subject uh, as we go on. Right. I know it's a shocking subject to many, so I'm sure it's shocking to you. But hey, here we are. I think we, I think because we miss each other sometimes, this is like very. We keeping things fresh and. There you go. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. We run at each other when we see each other yeah. after two days. Yeah. Absence maybe maybe this is genius. Yeah. Maybe more. we started something. In China. We did. Yeah. We not at each other's throat <laughs> for now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Comment. That's our reality. Bye, guys.